hello 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 welcome 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 now one of the most requested video on this channel is for spots and blemishes and also for sagging skin and wrinkles and fine lines today i have a facial mask that is going to take care of all of that combined in one this facial mask is so amazing guys it is so amazing and I can't wait to share it with you. So if you're looking for wrinkle-free skin, if you're looking for firm skin, if you're looking to get rid of all the spots on your face, then guess what? Just continue watching the video for this unique facial mask. Now to make this wonderful anti-aging facial mask, I'm going to use the potato. Now the potato is very versatile for the skin since it helps to clear the skin of spots and blemishes. It also helps to get rid of scars. But what I like the potato for most of all is that it helps to tighten and firm the skin. So the potato have this ingredient called catecholase that when used on the skin will further help to hydrate the skin and further help to lock that moisture in the skin so I'm using potato as one of the main ingredient in this recipe our next ingredient is rice and this is cooked rice I have gone ahead and cooked the rice this recipe is great for either white purple or black rice so just use whichever or whatever kind of rice you have just do not overcook the rice cook the rice for about 15 minutes or so now our next ingredient is almond milk and almond milk will help to brighten that skin it will help to hydrate the skin it will help to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin and it is also an overall ingredient that will help to clear spots and blemishes from the skin now our final ingredient is grapeseed oil a very light oil that contains vitamin E very rich in vitamin E and very very light therefore it help to get rid of wrinkles and sagging skin if you do not have grapeseed oil you can choose to use some olive oil in this recipe for this recipe you're gonna need a grater or a blender now the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna peel and grate the potato now this is Irish potato guy this is not sweet potato do not use sweet potato in this recipe okay now now that the potato is peeled I'm gonna grate at this stage if you do not feel like grating go ahead and blend the potato however i like to grate the potato since i feel that i get more juice from the potato when i grate instead of blending and next i'm going to extract the juice by straining so you need a strainer or a cheesecloth to extract the potato juice so just press And here we have our fresh potato juice. Put it to the side. Now the next step is to blend the cooked rice. And I'm gonna blend about a quarter cup of cooked rice. And no, we're not gonna add any water to this. And take a look at this creamy goodness. This is your blended cooked rice. Let's just scrape this out. Get all this goodness from the cover. And this is it. Our blended cooked rice, just the way we want it. And now we're gonna move on. So now we're gonna put all of this wonderful goodness together. We have our blended cooked rice. We have our potato juice. We also have our almond milk. And last but not least, we have our grapeseed oil. So I'm gonna use one tablespoon of our cooked rice, blended cooked rice. And one tablespoon is 15 ml. Reaching for my potato juice, and I'm using two teaspoons of potato juice, which is 10 ml. Two teaspoons, and we're gonna pour that over the rice. 
Next is the almond milk. I'm using one teaspoon, which is 5 ml. If you do not have almond milk, use a fresh milk. Pour that in. And before we add our grapeseed oil, we're just going to blend this together. At this stage, you can choose to put this back in the blender and just blend. And now we're going to use one teaspoon of our grapeseed oil, 5 ml. And we're just going to blend this together. Now at this stage, you can choose to put this back in your blender and just blend. It's actually faster and make it a little bit more refined. And here we have our wonderful hydrating anti-aging facial mask. Take a look at your mask up close. Look at this wonderful facial mask. So I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to show you how to use this for best result. Now you can store this facial mask in your refrigerator for about five to seven days. Now I suggest to put this facial mask in the refrigerator just before you use it to activate the catecholase in the potato. So I'm going to put this in my refrigerator for about 15 minutes or so and then I'm going to go on the other side and show you how to use this facial mask for best result. Now here I have the facial mask and before you use this facial mask, I suggest that you cleanse your skin first. Any facial mask that you're going to use on your skin, it is always best to apply to clean skin. Now if you exfoliate your face on a regular, you're good to go. Just cleanse the skin and apply the mask. If you have not exfoliated your skin for a while, I suggest you exfoliate your skin. Now I have a lot of wonderful exfoliators on my channel you can choose one or you could simply use some brown sugar and olive oil and just exfoliate your skin you can also use some brown sugar green tea and coconut oil exfoliate your skin rinse off and in that way you're starting with clean skin okay because you get rid of all the dirt from the pores giving this facial mask a chance to just seep into the pores to have to plump the skin up and basically just do its duty so now that the skin is clean I'm gonna apply now I have a little spatula I'm gonna use to apply mine this is best used with a brush if not just dip your hands in and just apply it over your face so I'm just gonna start applying this mask with my spatula in upward strokes now guys when you reach for your mask especially if you place it in the refrigerator like I suggested it might get a little dark not to worry that is perfect that is the reaction of the potato okay once the hair eat the potato it's definitely going to change the color but the product is still very very much effective and this is feeling really cool and nice on my skin since we place it in the fridge to activate the catecholase now guys this is one facial mask that is perfect to go right under your eyes okay so just apply the mask all over your face if you have a lot of large pores also make sure to completely cover your nose with this facial mask if you have wrinkles on your forehead apply the mask upwards like i'm showing here now, after applying the mask to your skin, the next step is to sit with it on your skin for at least 30 minutes. 30 minutes, you'll get good result. If you can go longer, choose to go with it for at least an hour on your skin. Once that is done, you're going to rinse this off preferably with some warm water after rinsing you're going to pat dry the skin and you're going to apply your favorite facial toner facial serum and facial moisturizer now i suggest you use this at least one to two times per week three times is best however for great result okay you can store the rest of this in your refrigerator
refrigerator for up to seven days. Now so it have been over an hour I'm wearing this mask and some areas are dry and some are not. What is happening to my skin right now is that I am feeling my skin really tight. So before I rinse off, what I'm trying to do right here is to remove the excess so that I don't really make a mess in my shower. I personally like to stand in my shower and wash my face instead of washing it over the face basin. So that is the reason why I like to remove most of the excess facial masks from my face before I rinse off. And just by watching through the mask, I could see how nice my skin is. All right. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. Ooh, 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 ooh. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Share the video. Leave your comment. Don't forget to leave your comment. And if this was the first time watching, if you're blown away with this video, if you so want to see more of these kind of videos, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. If you want to get a notification as soon as I upload a video, just click on the little bell at the side and you will get that notification as soon as the video is uploaded. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.